Hi everyone, how are you well? This is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into Ethereum, ticker ETH versus USD. Uh, once again, thank you for your continued support. Really do appreciate everything you do to contribute towards the growth of Coins Kid, okay? The Telegram, the Patreon, Twitter followers, the job lot. And we receive such warm and nice, kind comments on this channel. And we really do appreciate it. And we hope you know that you are finding the videos educational and helpful as well. So that's good, that's great. We've not got a crystal ball, and you know, we do try to educate on this channel as well as lay down our price predictions and where we think uh, these particular projects are going to in this bull run so as you can see right now we do anticipate uh, ethereum marching onwards and upwards to that price appreciation update you can see so far so good with ethereum okay and just like i said to you on multiple videos um once you're above dmas okay especially at 20 on any time frame you're in an uptrend if you're below them uh, the, the 20 you're in a downtrend effectively and you can see right now you're in a beautiful uptrend when we had that correction uh, last month for bitcoin and crypto in general you can see that ethereum bounced off to 20 it had a nasty wick down didn't it but it, it got so overextended i remember at the time it was up here and people were saying that the mr boat and i says do anticipate a pullback you know and, and and do if it loses this support of the 1272 which you can see it melted through do you remember that do you remember this ethereum video i said to you look you've gone through it you've not tested it as support do anticipate the pullback to test the support and if it loses that level of support then go short obviously lose support go short and put some cheeky bids on the 20 EMA and you can see right now how fruitful that particular projection was right there for Ethereum and you can see it's it's bounced off the 20 yeah it got a little bit of a scam week below but it's above the 20 on the weekly which is so important and on any time frame you're above the 20 it's golden okay for continuation Ethereum was overextended. You can't deny that. It was just this little mania move here for Ethereum. It got really overextended and it, it, it rolled back effectively. And, and right there, you can see it's picked up beautifully, isn't it? And it's now approaching the 1272 again. And I would expect it to run into a level of resistance right there. There is a beautiful breakout target for, for uh, Ethereum. And I will show you that in a moment. But so far, so good. We project that it's going to go to our targets up here but again we've not got a crystal ball and nothing we say is financial advice and at any point the market could collapse you're fully aware of that and bitcoin enters a bear market and that, that's the way it is but you've always got to have projections and this is where we do think ethereum is going to get to in this bull run okay this one six one eight extension right there eight thousand two hundred ninety dollars to to be precise um and, and so far so good so it's it's all golden effectively isn't it and, and if you'd have stuck with a channel right here we could have laid down the buy and go to the beach signal right there because of as I've shown you in multiple videos, all you simply do is bring up your Fibonacci. Uh, when you get this bullish cross, you see this this where the 20 EMA crosses the 55 EMA. That's a buy and go to the beach signal from Coins Kid. This is your sell and go to the beach signal from Coins Kid. Okay, and we've not got that yet uh, on this channel. So when we do, that's when we'll we'll give you the signal. But again take that with a pinch of salt and do what you want with that information but this is a buy and go to the beach signal from coins kid and you can see from there from that particular signal uh ethereum is currently up 1295 percent and it topped out just there at 1917 percent before coming back and retesting support which it's done beautifully right now so yeah it's it's, it's making progress effectively that's what we're trying to say and, and nothing goes up forever and you can see look at this monstrous third wave right here for ethereum you know you got one two three four five waves within this third wave as well so it's all good it's all golden elite wave theory going through the wave four pullback right now and obviously the wave five up there to the 1618 extension so right now i'm just going to jump into ethereum on the uh daily time frame okay so with Ethereum on the daily time frame, it's looking really, really well. You've, you, you've broken above a key level of resistance right here. There is another level of resistance I'm going to show you in a moment. But the, if Ethereum continues to go up here, it's super, super bullish for Ethereum, okay? And there's a massive, massive trade opportunity just here that I'm going to show you for Ethereum. But look at the MACD, okay? It's almost falling, forming the bullish cross there. Do you see that? And we got that a few days ago for Bitcoin. So that's a really good precursor to more upside. Hopefully, Ethereum's bottomed out here because if it has, you've got a beautiful reversal pattern on the go just here. There's a key level of resistance just here that I'm going to drop in for Ethereum, which you do need to see Ethereum break, okay? Because if it does break that, you've got a massive, massive trade here for Ethereum, and it's this, okay? Look at this. If you break that key level of resistance right there for Ethereum, put in a cheeky long, again, not financial advice, but look at this for, for a trade for ethereum if you break that on the daily time frame 2892 and you start to see ethereum carry out this w double bottom reversal pattern right here you're looking at a whopping whopping 40 percent 
long opportunity there for Ethereum, bringing you back up to $4,078 just there. Okay, so I'm going to drop that future price prediction in. But what you do need to see, obviously, is the volume come in, which we're not getting much volume at the moment. We need the volume to back up this breakout. Okay, we need the volume. That's really, really important because if you do, you're going to break out this WW bottom. You've got the reversal pattern up to there. Okay, and that's a whopping 40% trade, like I've just shown you, and the continuation of this bull run for Ethereum. So, so far, so good. It's looking relatively healthy, isn't it? But you do need to see this level of resistance broken. You've broken above the 20 EMA on the daily time frame. Like I said to you, if you're above the, the 20 EMA on any time frame, you're in an uptrend. Right here, you was underneath it. You were getting smashed up. You was hitting your head, hitting your head. You've come down. You've created these lower, uh, these higher lows. Do you see this? And effectively, you've got all sorts of stuff. You've got an ascending triangle. You've got a W double bottom. You've got a level of resistance right there. This is really key. If you see Ethereum break 2892 and start to close above that on the daily, wow, you could be looking at more upside there for, for Ethereum. And, and obviously, the continuation in the bull market for Ethereum right here. So it's really, really important. The next few days is so important for Ethereum right here. And uh, obviously, you can see what potentially could happen. You know, you, you could hit this as resistance start to fall back come back to this sort of support line of this ascending triangle do you see this and still come back up and break that eventually this is so important because obviously if you do start to lose the EMAs on a daily come back down and you lose this then you're going to come down aren't you and, and retest this low here potentially and, and that's more capitulation for Ethereum right there and from this point if it come down and retested that low that's a further 40% uh, correction for Ethereum right there but it's geared up it's looking well it's got higher lows do you see this you, you're above DMAs on the daily that the bullet it's looking super bullish on the weekly there's no reason not to think that you're not bullish here okay other than obviously Bitcoin and it being a bit of a fake out and a bit of a bull trap which a lot of people are anticipating but reversal patterns have to start somewhere, I'm afraid. And right now, Ethereum is forming it, isn't it? And like I said to you, look at the MACD under the histogram, bullish cross on the daily. It's looking geared up, friends. But again, not financial advice. But if you do start to see that break, pull in a cheeky long, okay? Take care, everyone. I'll be back tomorrow with another update on Ethereum. Bye-bye.